Hello, I'm Roger Bisbee from Skill Builder and I've come out today onto some building sites to talk to builders about hard hats and head protection in general and more importantly why some people choose to wear it, some people choose not to wear it. So there's a little bit to find out there, it's not the greatest of days, the heavy rain is forecast and it may be that a lot of the builders have thrown in the towel and gone home but we've got to travel hopefully, let's go out and see what we can find. So here's a likely looking site. I can hear there's people working inside. Obviously with the tin lid, it means they can work in all weathers. Do you generally wear a hard hat? I tend not to for, well, basically for medical reasons. Really. Oh, well, medical not, not reasons? My, well, personal, but yeah, no, I've got a, I've had a few problems with my head. I've had a few operations on my head. Oh, have you? Any pressure of a skull, it just gives me a bit of an headache, basically. So what, what, tell me about that. So if you're wearing a hard hat, you get a headache where? Where does it come? Well, Do you know? basically, my whole head. I've had, I've had two operations on my brain, yeah, so. Oh, blimey. Yeah, so. so any pressure at all is, yeah. makes you uncomfortable. Yeah. That's interesting, because this hat that you're wearing now is designed to reduce that pressure. Yeah, well, well yeah. It's, it's very, well, I can adjust it, so. It, you can feel it. The, the it doesn't, color. yeah. Let me just show you why. Okay, nothing's gonna fall on my head here. I can take no. this off for a sec, right? The reason is that not only have you got this adjustment here, but you've got this little suspension yeah. bit at the back. Now that makes all the difference because it actually kind of self-adjusts. So you've got a nice sweatband at the front, grippy yeah. bit at the front there, but you've also got that. So you should yeah. be able to just adjust it, get it just exactly. where you feel. And then obviously, if you bend over, it's not going to fall off, yeah. but it doesn't feel so tight. Yeah, well, no, that's, I yeah. mean, this, it's, it's on, but it, it feels it's not putting no. a lot of pressure on my head anyway. So. Right, I, I think that's really interesting. What I'd like you to do is keep that hat, try it out, and see if it does improve that yeah. situation, whether you, you, you get headaches or not. Yeah, no, it. I yeah, do, just yeah. A, I mean, obviously, don't put yourself in too no. much discomfort. But, <laughs> but it'll be, it'd be very interesting for me to find out how you get on with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah no worries. I'll come back and see you. Do you know what, round the corner, they're using black ones for the supervisors. Have a look. Yeah, I'll get you a blue one. <laughs> so now we've come onto a site. This is um, a little bit of a refurb you're doing here, isn't it? Do you know what, mate? You've knocked out the back end of the house. Yeah? Yeah. And you put in this monster steel. This is probably the biggest steel I've seen. What reason do you have for not wearing head protection? If we're working internally, I as you know, we're just plasterboarding now and yeah. whatever. It's, I, you know, it's not, to me, it's not worth it. No. Nothing's going to fall on your head to severely hurt you. Yeah, yeah. In my eyes. Yeah, that's you know. fair enough. So when you're, when you're doing things where you think there's a bit of danger, you, you pop on a hard hat. I.e. still works, um, roofing, yeah. if we're up there. You're under the scaffold. Under the scaffold, obviously. The older types would never, never sort of fit your head properly, did they? Yeah, They'd no, always no. be rolling around and... You look at this, this is, this is from MSA. One thing this has got is fabric webbing, which right. is a lot better because it helps it protect. Sit on your head. We've also got along here a nice comfort sweatband at the front. Just try that on. A bit big, yeah? It is a bit big. Right, so the first thing, we just push down on it with one hand. And with the other hand, I'll hold your glasses just to make your adjustment, but push down so that the webbing is nice and pushed down, yeah? And then just, just, just twist. to wherever you feel that's comfortable, yeah? Here. Not just about there, right? So if you lean forward now. That's not coming off. All the way, go on down, touch your toes for God's sake. <laughs> I can't reach my toes, I'm too old now. <laughs> uh, that's lovely. So you can see straight away yeah. that it's actually a lot better. Now, the important thing is that a lot of people find that they get a headache here when they're wearing a hard hat. This feels a lot more comfy, yeah, I must admit. Because it's too tight mm. and it starts to give you a headache and then after a few hours you start, your jaw starts to feel like it's aching, which is an odd thing, but, but people don't always attribute it to the hard hat. So what they've done there is they've put this little suspension thing in the back here and that just gives you that little bit of cushioning. In other words, it self-adjusts if you like. Yeah, so yeah, it's not yeah. gripping you too tight, but it's just giving you enough to keep it secure, but without putting a lot of pressure on your head, yeah? How do you feel about hard hats? Um, I don't particularly like wearing them. I find them quite uncomfortable. Um, tend to, I feel like I bang my head more when I got one on yeah. than when I haven't. Um, just a bit wobbly, aren't they, and uncomfortable. 
So you tend to what? You just wait until somebody drops a brick on the... Yeah, well, I'll probably... I usually have one laying around and you kind of hope that if someone's going to go up on the scaffolding, they might give you a shout and let you know or... And then you can pop it on. Yeah, yeah. 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 So I always have one kind of there just looking at me, but I don't tend to wear it that often. Yeah. So it's the comfort thing, is it? That yeah, yeah, I'd say so, yeah. Just after a few hours, it starts to... Yeah, they just yeah, they just tend to not be as, that comfortable, do they? Have you worked on sites where they insist upon you wearing it or not? Yeah, yeah, I yeah, have, yeah. And then yeah. you just put up with it. So if you just try that on... Yeah. And just push it down nicely. Yeah, yeah tighten it up at the back there. Yeah. Is that enough? Uh, maybe one more. Tell me when to yeah, stop. Yeah, that'll probably be yeah. all right, right, yeah. Try that, see if it falls off. Yeah. No, it's all right, it's pretty yeah. good, yeah? Yeah, it's pretty the good. The difference that. is it's got this fabric webbing inside. Okay. Rather than just the bog standard plastic, it's got a nice bit of suspension at the back. Adjustability, very easy to do. Obviously, yeah. you don't need to keep adjusting it. Once yeah. you get it right, if you take it off now, yeah. and then pop it back on, it should be ready yeah. for you. So if somebody else nicks it from you, they'd have to adjust it yeah. to them. But for no, you, yeah, it's that all is right, much yeah? Much more comfortable, yeah. yeah. So here you can see there's a choice of styles. You can get one with a slightly bigger peak on there, and you can also get one with this limited peak, which scaffolders tend to like. And you can see that this one is vented. It's got the vent strips out the front, a little bit of a rain gutter there, take the rain away. And that one is the unvented version, if you like, both with that distinctive V, which is the trademark of MSA. Some of the hard heads, yeah, they do have, let's say, some. Uh, if you bend over, you know, it would fall off, uh, especially in the winter time if you wear the woolly heads or something. Yeah. Uh, there is now a new rule that you have to buy specific, you know, head. That's right. Uh, head protection, uh, uh, obviously, like a, something like a hat. Yes. But uh, that suits for the wearing the hard heads, yeah. which is, this wouldn't be exact. Uh, I know. So, so in other words, you're not allowed to wear a hat like a beanie now, uh, like that. On some sides you do, some sides yeah. no. Yeah. It, it is. So what we're talking about, my friend, is this. This yeah. comes from MSA, if I may. Okay. Yeah, we'll just change that over. And if you feel <laughs> this, try that now in conjunction with that. You'll feel the fit. Yeah. Yeah. And the, yeah. the important thing is about that is that yeah. it's approved. Yeah. Yeah. So. Um, just when you start this, before you tighten it up, yeah. if you just push down on your head yeah, it's all, all and the way settle in. it down, yeah, it now tighten way. it up. Yeah. In other words, put one hand in there and then tighten it up on the back. Yeah. Just, just so it's comfortable. Yeah, it is. Now just it try is, and yeah. see if it falls off. No, it's no? not. It's pretty good, all the way, yeah. yeah? So it's on. So the important thing is, if I may just show you, the important thing here is that it's got this little suspension okay, piece yeah, at the back. It push, pushes all the way yeah, so and it, it holds. It holds, but it doesn't the create the pressure yeah. because what a lot yeah. of people find is that they get a headache after a while here oh, because yeah. their hat is tight enough to stop it falling off. Yeah. But then they find after a few hours of wearing it, they get a little pressure here, a headache there, and sometimes even down into the jaw. So that means a lot of people think, oh, I can't wear this all day long. The yeah. other thing you might notice about that is it's got a slightly shorter peak than your yeah. one. Yeah, that's actually one of the reasons why you're always hitting, you know, the scaffold. Tube yeah, because it's, of it's, it's annoying, isn't it? Yeah. So what I want to do is I want to give you this one, oh. uh, along with the uh, the special woolly thing. Thanks you're, very you're much You still for got that. your beanie, okay? <laughs> and um, hopefully you'll wear it and uh, yeah, you'll be able to tell be. people what you feel about it. But, it, but you can it see is, it's a, really this. Exactly, hopefully, yeah. if we get that beast from the east coming back, yeah. it'll keep you a bit warm. Yeah. <laughs> I really like that hat actually with the gut around it because I can take rain, but when it starts going down the back of your neck, that's my cutoff point. That's the point where I think I am not enjoying this anymore. So Andy, I've known you for a while. You're a roofer, which means you're out in all weathers. So just try this because this is really extreme weather. All right, I mean, I don't know whether it's a great look or not, but <laughs> it's probably not a good look. But. <laughs> <laughs> but there you go, right? So you've got a little Velcro or hook and loop strip there that you can um, put it around, right? So that keeps you nice and snug. So just try the hat on top of that. You just have to adjust it out slightly now. 
because your head has grown. Yeah? Yep. And look at that, yeah? Warm as toast. So they're always worried about people putting hoodies up under the hard hat because something happens and it yeah, pulls and the hard loose, hat off. It? It's, it's exactly, and it pulls, yeah. So that is a proper fit, yeah? Now, so that's, that's you taken care of for the winter, all right? You're never gonna come out of there. This one, there's a variation on it. I'll wear this if you like. This is a flame retardant one. So the guys on the oil rigs and the welders and everybody else yeah. have that. That's quite a nice, nice look. Again, with a hat, I'll just use that one here. Yeah. But it's lovely, it's a lovely fit. But they go further than that. How about this one? This is a bit extreme. It's like a balaclava. Isn't it? <laughs> this is exactly what it is, <laughs> mate. Right, so this, you could get arrested for this, couldn't you? <laughs> anyway you know same yeah. game but it's comfortable perfect it? protection lovely lovely feel to it stick it on and that's you protected yeah yeah what, what you do with it you've got a bucket of cold water put it in the cold water give it a squeeze out and it hangs on the back of the hat exactly and it goes in there right so that that is actually onto the velcro right so you're like this, that's down yeah. the back of your neck. Which is always the worst bit in the summer. Exactly, yeah, that's the Sun, bit, right? So, sunstroke, you, so you can keep, every time that dries out, mm. you can dip it in the water, squeeze it out, give it another go. Yeah. And keep the cool. idea of it is that, as you know, when something's evaporating, it's cooling. Mm. So that water that's evaporating off that all the time is keeping you yeah. incredibly cool. So. Let's hope the summer comes back, mate. Yeah. So try that one out for me. Because you you constantly see some guys in you in the summer hosing themselves down yeah. with a hose yeah. pipe. And we've all done so it with the t-shirt as well. You know, you keep chucking yeah. the t-shirt in the back, and but it falls off. So that is specifically made for the job. Again, approved yeah. because it's been tested. And what with I the find hats. as well in, in in the summer as well is that it's excellent protection for the back of the neck, which is sunstroke. Yeah. So anything really really burnt all the time can really yeah. affect you. Yeah. And but it's good cover. And if you think about it, last couple of summers, even by 10 o'clock in the morning, it's fierce, isn't yeah. it? So we said we'd come back and see Dave after a few weeks. I managed to track him down. Different site, Dave, you're yeah, You yep. keep moving about, don't you? Very different site. <laughs> very, so, very different. I just want to know, uh, you've been wearing a hard hat, obviously not to bed. You haven't been wearing it 24-7, but, no. but um, are you finding any difference with it or not? It's a lot more comfortable than my, yeah. Well, my old one, as it were. You told me you were getting the problem yeah. with your headaches. Is it? Is it? Well, that's it. Because it's, it's you're gonna, I'm gonna adjust it. Yeah. You've got a lot about sort of 10 mil adjustment on the old ones. These ones you've got millimeters, so it's, so it's working for you. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's yeah. brilliant. That's all we need yeah. to know, right? That's brilliant. So people want that little catch up, and uh, you found it. Yeah. Uh, it's a lot more comfortable than the old ones, so that's that, great, yeah. a lot more comfortable. You've got the old short peak as well. Yeah. You, on this one, yeah. Brilliant. Okay, mate. All nice right. to see you. I will let you get on because I know you're busy. Yeah, oh, yeah. I've got to get up there again now. <laughs> so there you are. That was not really a scientific selection of builders. It was just a random sample, but it did show a certain pattern emerging that they could see the benefits in wearing hard hats, but because they're not always comfortable, they're not always a good fit, they tended to just leave them by the side unless they had to. So there's the mission, if you like, there's the challenge for PPE manufacturers in general is to produce PPE, which is more comfortable to wear, that doesn't have any penalties in terms of comfort and slowing you down. And MSA have really stepped up to that challenge in producing a hard hat which is clearly more comfortable, easier to fit, and hopefully a lot more people will be wearing it in the future. I'm Roger Bisbee, thanks very much for watching and come back and see us soon.